Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. As you can see in the title, I'm just giving some feedback and some thoughts on the latest Gear in the Machine episode, talking about the mechanics of third person shooting in Gears of War ever since the beginning. Um, in that episode, uh, as you can see, of course, uh, Ryan Clevin, the multiplayer director or designer of Gears of War, of Gears 5, I should say, from the Coalition, um, goes into detail exactly how third person shooters have always worked. Now he brings up some simple trigonometry, um, at least that's what it looks like. Of course, there's a lot more behind it than that, that meets the eye. Um, but he goes into detail to explain why it is that you can sometimes shoot people uh, when they seem to be behind a wall. And as you can see in the examples, as soon as the person walks into the crosshair, the game basically bends the bullets. Of course, this doesn't happen, but in game logic, that is what happens because otherwise it's not consistent. If you want it completely consistent, you would probably have to put the camera directly behind the player, uh, such as uh, the Witcher games, um, the old Battlefront games. And then when you zoom in, it'll like it'll aim over the shoulder, basically, of, uh, of what the player does. Um, and more direct than what Gears of War is doing. But because Gears of War is a cover-based shooter, uh, this is not the case and it does not play well this way, right? It'll be really boring and really slow if that was the case. Now, the reason that um, I'm making this video is to point out some inaccuracies that Ryan's showing uh, in his explanation. I'm not sure if this is deliberate and he's showing uh, the rest in a later video, but just to make sure, I figured I put my thoughts out there and my findings. Now, I've put out uh, several tutorials over the last couple of years talking about how you can shoot through walls. Now, this isn't necessarily um, me <laughs> telling you to cheat the game, but this is part of the Gears of War versus meta. And what it does is it's exactly what Ryan explains is that if you're, you know, if there's a wall between you and the target, um, you can't shoot them because you're going to hit the wall, right? Because the trajectory from the gun to the crosshair is obstructed by an object. It can be a wall, it can be a piece of cover, anything really, even another player, right? However, if you get into cover, and this has been the case for so long, when you get in cover, it magically ignores any object. And this is a massive problem in the competitiveness of Gears of War, because uh, if you keep this in the game, then every level designer is basically screwed. They can't fix this because it's going to be accepted as a mechanic of the game. Uh, and as you can see in the example, it shows you different angles that someone can hit someone at, uh, even if there should never be a line of sight for, you know, the weapon to the, uh, the tip of the gun to the uh, person. Now, I'm of the belief that it's not that much of an issue seeing The Division had this problem when that, ga that game came out and they fixed it in, I believe, two title updates. Uh, but this is a mechanic that's been in Gears of War for years. Ever since Gears of War 2 came around, it's been in there. And even in Ultimate Edition, which is the remastered version of Gears 1, um, it went overboard. And you can look at this. If you need some proof, you can find my older videos that I made back in 2015 and 2016. Because in a lot of those matches that I have uploaded, you'll see me abuse those mechanics. Because I have to. If I don't, then I'll just get killed the same way. Um... So this is mostly for the coalition to see and hopefully do something with it. Because uh, if you guys don't, you're just going to kill every single map that you bring out. Uh, and if you are unaware of this, um, I'm going to hold it against you in some aspects. Because I believe some of you have worked on the game. And if you've played the game, chances are you have witnessed this yourself. <laughs> All right. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed this, if it helped you out. and help you understand the mechanics because essentially my tutorials and stuff um, I explain the same things just it's not as in detail as Ryan of course he's the developer so I am not a developer don't have those uh, those numbers and those physics on my side um, yeah let me know what you think what your experiences are with this and whether or not you believe they should fix it uh, I am of the opinion that they should definitely um, because it just kills the, the, the gameplay um, 
Also, I want to give a huge shout out to the person in the previous videos telling me my audio audio was really low. I hope this one's been better. Uh, also, apologies for not using a camera. Uh, I had an accident last week. I'm okay. But uh, yeah, that's why I don't have the camera on. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, man, stay strong, stay safe and never quit. Take care, guys. Till next time. Bye-bye.